Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to use the title command. The title command can display text on your screen and can be used for minigames. And I'll be doing a 500 subscriber special pretty soon, so tune in for that. And with that out the way, let's begin. To begin you're going to type in slash gif at p minecraft command block. Then you just have to hit enter and place down the block. And also get a button. Then open it up. Now to start you're going to type in title. And then I'm going to put in at A so everyone can see the title. Then after that you're going to choose what title you want. For example I'll be using title. Then two curly brackets. Within the curly brackets you're going to put in two quotes. And within those quotes you're going to put in text. Then after the quotes you're going to put in a colon then two more quotes. And then the text of your choice. And that is our basic title command. So we can just hit down on the command block and press the button. And there's the text of your choice. I'm going to copy and paste this command block and change title to subtitle. You can't use the subtitle without title. So now if we hit the button, we have the text of your choice under the text of your choice. I'm very creative. And if we place down another command block and put a button on that, we can do title at A times, and then you can put in three numbers. The first number will determine how long the fade in will be. The second number determines how long text can stay on the screen. And the third number is a fade out. So we can do 1, 1, 1, then click the button. And now you can click the other button. As you can see, everything is really quick. So we can change the stay time to 10 maybe, and it's still too quick. How about now? So now if we click this, and then click this, well, it's going to stay on your screen forever. And that's not a good thing. So what you're going to do is type in slash title at A, then clear. And to reset everything to its defaults, you're just going to type in title at A reset. So we can click the button and then show up our main text. As you can see, everything's now working again. And the last title you can use is action bar. So you can just type in title at A action bar and the same stuff as before. Now if you press the button, some text will display just above your hotbar. Now I'll be showing you how to customize the text with colors and styles. So I'm just going to get rid of these command blocks, so then we're just left with this one. Now after the quotes you can put in a comma, then two more quotes. Then in here you can type in color. After the quotes of color you're going to put in a colon, then two more quotes. Within the quotes you can choose the color of your choice. I'll have all the colors in the description and on the screen right now. So I'm just going to choose dark underscore red. And now if we input the command, we'll have dark red text. And for styles you can put in a comma, then two more quotes. And then we can do underlined, then a colon, two quotes, and then true. So now if we input the command again, our text is now underlined. And for multicolored styles, you can put in a square bracket after the curly bracket, and another square bracket before the curly bracket. Now we can put in a comma after the curly bracket, and then two more curly brackets. Then we can just type in the same code as before. And now if we input the command, we have noise at the end. Nice. But as you can see when I press the button, noise has an underline, when in the code we don't have an underline. That's because statements will copy the previous statement. So all we have to do is just add in the style, which is underlined, and make it output false. So now when you click the button again, it'll work. This also works on subtitles and action bars. Since we're on the topic of titles, I can show you the Minecraft map that I'm working on. So here's the Minecraft map that I'm busy working on. Still needs quite a bit of progress, but I mean there's only a few levels so that it shouldn't take so long. And since we're on the topic of titles, if I stand on this pad, it'll show up a title. And the map that I'm working on has quite a few of them. Even this button has a title. Okay, maybe that was not a good idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. You can also like and subscribe to show support for the channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.